It's Ramadan now, and with that, our exercise habits are probably thrown out of whack. Now, our eating and fasting periods are completely different. So let's first tackle what it means to work out before iftar. Working out on an empty stomach means that you tap into your fat stores. Now, if you do cardio before, you're burning away those fats, and with that, you're able to lose weight and lead your way into a positive life. Hi, um, one of the important things that you can keep your health and stay healthy is doing sports. Now sports, of course, they are a tremendous help and tremendous value uh, for general well-being, for, uh, for example. Um, even healthy people would like to exercise and we promote that also even for healthy, fit people. But what happens or how can we use sports in relation to uh, improve health, treat medical conditions, and, and how to stay away from medical conditions by doing these sports. Now, we, we can understand now is that uh, obesity, weight gain, unhealthy lifestyle in general has a bad, very bad influence in causing or uh, developing medical conditions, specifically related to diabetes, um, uh, the hypertension, uh, high cholesterol value. Uh, all these are very uh, important things related to the obesity and to not exercising very well. So how can exercise could help with that? First of all, let's understand the basics of exercise and how do they help our systems. Now, exercise is a way to try to eliminate calories and try to burn calories as much as we can. Now, calories are storage of energy in our, in our body. If we keep calories and eating them without really burning them, these calories will be stored in the, in the, in the terms of fat and in terms of weight. So we'll have excess weight as much as we're not really exercising and we're not really burning uh, this amount of, of calories that we consume. And to keep the balance very well, we need to try to exercise as much as we can eat in terms of calories so we can actually uh, uh, buffer off for any, uh, uh, any uh, possible accumulation of this energy, excess energy, and to uh, not prevent the, uh, or try to prevent the accumulation of fat also. So exercise becomes very important tool to try to balance out uh, any energy excess that we get or we put in, into our system. So this is very important part of the exercise. Now, um, exercise, uh, when, when we try to, uh, try to promote it, we try to do or pick the exercise that can achieve the maximum amount of muscle action and at the same time we we'll try to maximize the amount of even heart rate during the exercise because first of all we try to move muscles as much as possible when we do these exercises. Now uh, if we select uh, exercise to help out in improving our medical condition then we try to pick some sort of exercise to help the body move a lot. Uh, so we try to use the amount, of, the maximum amount of muscles that we can use. So exercise is about running or jogging or swimming or cycling. That will be very good types of exercise because you use a lot of muscles to, uh, to, to uh, doing these exercises. And uh, that will maximize the calories that you burn out. And at the same time, you will get the medical benefit out of these exercises. Now, you, of course, you can do specific type of exercises which are related to a specific muscle or a joint, but these are difficult issues, uh, different issues not related to the one that we're talking about uh, in terms of general uh, exercise for health. Now, we'll talk about more the, after the break about how to use these kind of exercise and how to manage them to, uh, to treat medical condition after the break. When we try to push for exercise, we try to first of all pick the right type of exercise. So if someone is able to do something with his legs, 
that would be perfect. So running, jogging, cycling, that would be very well. If not, then swimming would be something that someone can use if they cannot really move that much about their, their knees, they have issues with lower back. Then we try to pick some sort of exercise, uh, be even um, uh, for, uh, for easy fuse. And in the water, you can do a lot of exercise in the water too, not only swimming, you can do weightlifting, you can do uh, some, some stretching exercises, and these are very important you can do in the pool because in the pool, uh, the water takes out a lot of your weight, so you feel easy uh, to do these exercises. So these are very important. So whatever you can do on the, on the ground, you can actually, uh, a lot of times you can actually use it in the pool and do the same exercises um, and, and try to help out your muscles. Now, when we do also exercise, we try to uh, speed up the heart rate because what we learn is that if we speed up the heart rate, we can actually burn more calories. If you do a certain exercise, and this in this exercise, you're actually not really ex uh, exceeding the heart rate, the normal heart rate or your regular heart rate, you're probably not really burning a lot of calories. But only when you start pay, uh, pacing out and um, uh, you're feeling the heartbeat comes out, and if you try to measure it even during the exercise, uh, we try that would probably will mean uh, a good result in improving the calories that you burn. Now, exercises for people who have diabetes or high cholesterol, blood pressure, we always try to push them for about 30 to 45 minutes of these daily activities or daily uh, exercises. We try to push them for about at least five days, uh, even two days a week if they cannot exercise, we try to not to keep those two days off um, as, a, uh, as a follow up or a consecutive days. We try to split those days if, if, uh, if they have to take some break. Otherwise, we'd like to do uh, uh, the whole week of doing these kind of exercises. Um, for people who have a medical condition of diabetes, for example, um, especially if their glucose levels or sugar levels are not really very well controlled, we try to tell them check your sugar before you do the exercise. If you see the level is low, less than 5 or less than 4, or high, less than 15, try stay away from doing exercise at that time. Try to fix your sugar and then you can do the exercise because it's not really safe if your sugar is low or too high. Even also your blood pressure. If your blood pressure goes up really high, um, then we don't like you to do blood pressure if your blood pressure in the, in the high range, in the 180s or 190s in the, in the upper part or then the one more 100 in the lower part. Um, so these are very important tips you need to look at before you do exercise. If you also want to do exercise, try to read up more about this information and also try to, um, uh, if you can get an experience advice, either from a physician or from a trainer who actually have some experience in managing a medical condition with exercise, especially related to the chronic medical conditions. Um, uh, also, the setup of exercise is very important. So uh, if you have medical conditions, if you're um, not really young, fit, individual, uh, then maybe you want to select the best way or best time to do the exercise. Uh, try to stay away from doing it in a, uh, in a direct sun exposure or, or with the excess heat because that would just make your body weaker without getting the proper benefit of it. So, um, so these are probably would apply for someone who's an older, has medical conditions. Uh, if you're fit, if you're young, uh, and you can um, um, sustain the uh, moderate amount of heat and you can still do exercise in that, then that's something you can do. If someone has type 1 diabetes, this is what happens in the young individuals, then I'll probably not even do any exercises in the heat because that will dysregulate your sugar and cause a lot of uh, dehydration and, and, and a lot of uh, bad things that related to the increase in the glucose levels. So these are very important tips you need to know uh, in how to design the best exercise regimen for you that suits you and suits your health and improves your health. Wish you a happy Ramadan and safe Ramadan too. Working out before iftar and doing cardio then means that you'll burn away those fats. That's amazing if you're trying to lose weight. However, if you're trying to build muscle, then get your iftar meal in. Build up on those carbohydrates and let two hours pass so the food is not in your stomach and then hit the gym and build those muscles.